Hi, morning everybody. I'm doing this walkthrough for New York Flankies. Can you, the rock adventure breakthrough, stiffen defense to take control of this block? <laughs> okay, as usual, uh, we scan the pods. We know there's only one pod. This room doesn't have uh, some kind of funny parts. So, 8080, you come here, hello world, and then you have admin login. We get login.html. Uh, it turns to login. We have this image. It's the Oracle. We have a page called Stephen Test. Okay, that's, uh, so that's the to start enumeration. <coughs> As always, start for example looking for the source code of anything and see what we can see. There is interesting part here. We have a JavaScript. He said. Uh, is looking for the a cookie logged in. Get the admin login button, and the button changed to the, that. And then, then, then no, it was funny part. <laughs> you know what I did? I, uh, uh, I did this. Uh, I came here and did inspect, and then said uh, storage cookie, and I just, I just put login in true I add another cookie here and I just refresh it trying to be smart and <laughs> I'm not logging it so it can it, it it go to xx so so you can think we need to after you log in later on we we, we need we'll get redirected to this so we know uh, the, the root where is it so let's remove what we did here it's not uh, we don't need it now so let's go back to to there so we have dead end here but interesting this little javascript here we have now if we go to stephen stephen uh, debug page he said to do fixed verbos error put in this keyword is very important in ctf because that's how you get uh, no not you uh, don't do that so if i go to uh, page source Interesting is this part. First of all, you can see it's a, it's a local host, and it's a submit ICCBC payload. So it seems that's the payload we submit, and then uh, a response failed to send request. On. So it's these requests, but local host is questionable. So we can check this quickly here. If we do inspect, we don't need always to be, uh, burp, burp, burp. So if I come to network and refresh, it's a localhost. So I can just edit this. So why why using localhost? So we can use the our website because it seems running uh, because it's like a development of this uh, blog is not finished. That's why he's using localhost in there. So the question is, if I send it straight to to there, what happened? Uh, I get a response. What's a response? Custom authentication success. Remember, he said here is that uh, submit the ICCBS PK, PKCS. So it's an encryption IS payload to get authentication token, and that's what my part was. I said authentication token. It took me it took a long time because I thought some token we needed so we can log into the admin, but admin need username and password and that's why I got lost. Then if you notice these long characters, the first one are only digit. Then it come this one. So if you remove this one I can still get sex as customer sex. If you put anything that strangely it tell me decryption error. So if I put that one back, it's uh, there. If you add anything at the end, it go back to decryption error. So, so what it means? It means we need to decrypt somehow this. I don't know if the first are the key or whatever, but they look very because the first one are numbers and then here to, the, to start the characters. Any case, so. So because it's in encryption and you're talking about padding and somehow and wherever, wherever, and then you start googling, then you come to these terms. The 
the padding and because the room uh, you can see is oracle padding oracle attack you find all of this article about it and then most of these scripts are old like this one I tried to run it, it didn't run uh, this one I'm not sure did I, did I test it didn't work for me seven years ago 13 years this is uh, this is I don't like even to think about it Pearl uh, uh, because I'm not sure what uh, then you have this one look a little bit promising because he's installing from pipe 3 already installing padding oracle this is the one I didn't work from the attack box and then his script is uh, he used some base 64 so I asked ChatGPT to modify the script this is the modification of the script uh, let me get the right IP because I restarted the machine so the IP now is this one let me save it, there's a couple of them, this one doesn't show the printing this is the, 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 the string that we have, this is where we send it to the IPI debug then is importing Oracle, of course it doesn't work for me in an, an attack box. I don't know. I, I tried to run it. He complained about this library. Now let's run it now and then we can check other options. Let's, so if you run it, it start. It take I think uh, two three minutes to find it. Let's count it. It's uh, for me. It's seven forty six minutes now. Let it run because now he will. Uh, he will keep running. It's not finishing. He will, he do too many too many steps. No, it's he's, he's find it by character. So let him play. Let's uh, let's count it. It's 46. Now it's 47. Then this one interesting uh, because now in Discord people talk about uh, who's uh, zero day. Uh, zero day said uh, there's something fast. When you Google, you find this one. This one. This one. It look. First of all, it look it's not it's still old, but but yeah. So and that's a demo. So if we go get that one, where is it? It's this one. Um, where to download it? Uh, at, uh, we need to install Go. No, I don't need to install Go. So if you go to the latest release, uh, let me take the Linux one. Let me go back. So we have it here. What's his name? Pad. Let's see if my plus X. Pad X. So let's make sure ours. What it happened? It's still working. You find character by character this one. So let's see. So this one let him work in. So now if I want to run it. So what I need to give it. Where's the... Minus U is the target URL add dollar character to define the token placeholder. Um, token placeholder, so we need to. So this is the, the full URL. Minus U. And he said what? We need to put a dollar. Use dollar character to define token play, uh, play if you present a new URL, yes. And then error rejects pattern HTTP response body will match against this uh, uh, this uh, whatever the error message. Omit to perform automatic fingerprinting. Let's omit for fingerprinting. And then where we, we uh, p the number of HTTP requests, block length, make it automatic, uh, encoding my additional replacement error. Uh, uh, to, to, to additional placement to apply after encoding binaries. I forgot how to do these things. My number of parallel proxy I don't have proxy. Uh, 
so we just give him uh, the token straightforward he doesn't need the uh, it's right I don't know I don't know no it's dollar should we put a dollar dollar will, will like that will not work in the shell let's uh, So what we give him straight uh, the value. If you believe a toggle specifier error, you know what? There's something missing. What else? What else? Minus P minus B blog minus C encoding it's not a b64 so it should be this one the hex night c uh, minus e no it's working let's see our friend i found it so we start at uh, 46 now it's 51 so you can see about five minutes five minutes is not bad he found it so it's not that slow. Five minutes is not that slow. So we have this, and this one find the result also. So this is basically username and password, uh, and this one is exactly what he found. So both of them find. So this one is too fast. This one is five minute, but this one doesn't work in uh, 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 in uh, concurrency. So it's just a normal a normal script. And you can see uh, this one. You can see him what he's doing. Like you can see, is uh, is getting letter by letter. It's starting from the end backward, and then you find the l the last S, Stefan. Oh, nice. So this one work. We know it's working, but I don't know why it doesn't work in an attack box. But in any case, so now we got uh, a decryption. So we have username, password. So we can go to our admin login. We can put that. And we have the full password, which is the same what we got here. So it's nine nine at the end. No 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 no. There's something not right. Why is not getting it uh, all of it? Output is too wide. What's wrong with it? Because I'm zooming, and uh, because you need to zoom the screen, so it's nine nine at the end, same as this one. Yeah, nine nine. So the, the so we don't get a wrong password. So this is attack. So if we get there, okay. Now we got. You see the button change now to debug. So I was right in the beginning, but it's uh, it is what it is. So of course what you do now you click debug and then what you get you got the first flag this guy doesn't trust us he's make a long uh, a long uh, flag <laughs> he's when things get sorry things are interesting so when you put less it go here in the command and set you okay that's what that's the only thing it show it show you okay so if I say ID is nothing you just keep say okay okay it's like uh, it execute but if, uh, let's say if we saw the wrong thing if you send the wrong thing it just doesn't show anything so we know it's working when it's said okay so of course when you see things you say okay let me uh, 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 go to the uh, NCMOS L VMP uh, let's go uh, our classic so you go now to reverse shell we already have a reverse re re generator so if I get one two three four here where things also become strange to to, to figure it out uh, so if I if I try directly the shell if I go back to the command there it press ok but you don't get uh, a listener you can try even change it to bash and it's not encoding issue because you can try many things it just doesn't work 
then you can say for example the usual this is the NC1 so if I try to NC1 it's like it's restrict, restricted uh, it still don't have so one way to to do this is and uh, upload the shell directly to the what is this uh, so we can uh, create the sh no not that one and just come back to our normal shell here the the the, the basic one don't need fancy s no. I don't think we can use the s sh normally let's try that one yeah but another trink when you run it doesn't run for whatever reason so if I get uh, the normal shell and then um, now I need to run uh, minus m so the idea now let's call it so if I go here and just uh, if I say w get http 10 10 my IP address of the box is 5 84 8000 and call shell dot sh that's what I think if I try to binary for example sh uh, shell dot sh because it's copied look we don't get a shell we don't, I, I can the download was done Ironically, this one see, but it's like they don't run together. So then, then I realize because it's downloaded. If I ask him now, okay, if you download it, let's let's run it. It's still not. So so it's not it's not sh uh, shell or something. But if I change it to bash, I get the shell for whatever reason. I don't know. So when you change layer, you go back, and it tell you you are root. Of course, now I need to stabilize shell. Where is my uh, thing? So I don't need to type. So you need to download the shell inside, uh, and then when you do the Python stabilize the shell, then you can see where you are. Uh, then uh, okay we export that one why is that the other one SSTY control Z and then we can get stable shell and here where you see because when you see root at zero zero this is like a, you are inside the container so y y you're not root that's why uh, do we have any sh uh, what is the uh, Less home. There's no homes. So we have the root flag. We have this flag missing now. Uh, yeah, you know because you can say a doc. Docker. Why is not complete in the, my Docker images? And now when you go there, you can see you are inside the Docker. So you have this the padding Oracle web. This is the then uh, we have two uh, others here so this is the one that we are in now so basically this is the application now we need to get to. so you can get the idea we need to go to a uh, root host of course now as you know wherever you go to Linux you can um, anything in Linux uh, when you start uh, privilege cation enumeration you can just start eco things start to uh, go in the, the variable what what we have here so okay you have this you have uh, open jk inside the bind okay so that's interesting then for example you can see the environment variable <laughs> hey very uh, when you do this you already see things you can see uh we have uh, i think this this is the dogger flag the admin flag that we found before so you can see the second flag is already here that's the there 
we have the, the username and password what we got now so that's the password of the web I don't know why they put the whole things here and then where is the username of Stefan? Uh, the Stefan we found it here so this is the same what we got here in the system uh, so basically we got a second floor now how to go out of this uh, escape of course when you have uh, escape docker is uh, the, the normal things let's say oh, let's say cut proc cut proc the processes proc1 what's the, the command again you can use a normal enumeration c group uh, what we can get from here this is the docker so we already know we are inside the docker we need to go out um, then what else we can have yeah we can go for the docker variable let's see if we can get them this is a process of enumeration uh, okay we have the docker so we, we know we are inside docker the, the most important let's see if the the capability no the capability is not really the, the solution for us for this the point I want to make this certain process in docker you can start before you go into Okay, caps we don't have, so we can't use that one. The interesting one is this, the val run docker, because this is one you should check always when you do a docker. The ls minus la var run docker dot, uh, dot socket. <coughs> the s it says socket, we are root we can write and uh, uh, read and write on it this is very the, that's the, the trick but this is why the whole point of the part is you can write to it so what that tell us straightforward you get privilege escalation when you have read and write in this file this socket file is straightforward and then remember we have docker images we need this one we can choose uh, in, I'm choosing the openjk one so the command to do that is this one you, you get privilege creation straight with this command uh, we mount in uh, we start in the quarter we mount in uh, uh, the host root file system so we are the host the one we want to escalate to in mnt directory remove automatically remove the container once it exists it it is a run the container interactive mode we launching it in what we have installed in the system this specific container and then that's how the root come in ch root msh change the root directory to mnt host so let's try this one one shot command can we become root here if we just run it and if you look it say that but we are in the file system now we are we are not inside the container and that's why we have um, that's the flag of root we have it now and we are inside now the container we can say home and we have Ubuntu so we did privilege escalation with simple command so we don't need to be fancier if you want to be fancier we can go um, let me try something else we have shell let's call it to shell2.sh uh, to the sh let's change uh, no hold on why shell yeah shell two vim shell let's change the port let's try something I, I, I got another comment so one two three four let's make it one two three five and make a listener in uh, and C minus L V and P one two three five. Uh, let's uh, let's get uh, let's do the same command we did here. Uh, uh, download in W get. Uh, we call it shell two. Delete this. We know it doesn't work. We confirm we got the shell to download. Let's see if we already download it. Mm -hmm. 
okay shell to download so we can call it now uh, binary let make two uh, so we can got the did we got a new shell we got new shell it's there now the idea is uh, can we have a so we, we know now this simple command can run but also I got another one when I start searching more this one also it's a bit longer but let's try it too I didn't test it when I, I was let's see if it does work not found You know what? Uh, I didn't test this command, so uh, what? OC had not found. Where is that OC? Oh, I didn't copy the whole command. Let's see if we are. No, we are not root. Didn't take me to root this one. We we still in the same. Uh, I didn't do the privilege this one. Okay, so let's stick with the the one that works. So we know this one works. So sorry, guys. I I, I found it. Uh, I didn't experiment with it correctly so we have this command you get straight to root so you don't need to go too much fancy because you have a right uh, you have right access to this uh, the socket the fact you have a right socket so you can just launch a, 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 any docker you have and then you become root so let's not go too much fancy about this so docker run minus v uh, mnt uh, you access straight you you are in root and you have the flag uh, root flag so uh, this is straightforward so let's not uh, for the script yes you have uh, the the first one uh, this one is really fast uh, th this one yeah it, it take five minutes so it's not uh, that bad so he got also the password it show you so it's uh, it's not that bad so Remember, I run it in an environment, so I'm running it in an environment so to 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 do, so that's fine. So yeah, so let's stick with the uh, the one that f that work. Uh, I'm inside the system, so it's uh, it's root this one. Huh? So that's what's inside the root. Snap. So, so why did, uh, no this one yeah because the, uh, the definitely we are not uh, because I'm, I can see my uh, shell and shell so I'm still inside the docker so here I, I didn't escape with this uh, long uh, longer uh, command uh, maybe it has some host proc mount host maybe this host command need, <coughs> need to <coughs> change uh, or put IP address here or something any case uh, I don't want to too much so I like my uh, this command it's easier and uh, uh, simpler so you don't need to go too much about it so you have the the flag and thank you very much everybody have a good weekend and thank you again